up against Rory Easton and Zach Russ from England. Well, this is the very top section of the draw uh, because the winner of the match we are about to watch will play against the world number one ranked pair. And that, of course, is Alfian and Ardianto, two-time bronze medalists at the World Championships. The Indonesian number one seeds, 2019 and again last year in Tokyo. So two pairs who have never met each other before. A meet in the first round of the 28th World Badminton Championships. It's actually a first appearance at the World Championships for the English pair. Uh, but here, uh, two players who are playing in their third consecutive as a combination. It is Li Zhe Hui and Wang Po Xuan. reached the second round in their first two appearances at World Championships in Welva and then in Tokyo last year. The English combination. Rory Easton and Zach Russ. been in one final this year that was the Dutch international series event the English pair uh, whereas this pair from Chinese Taipei a couple of semi-finals those were both in 300 events So what an occasion for the young English pair playing in their first World Championships. Come here, Phil Tross. Got a red and a black, Lee, red. and black for you. It's red. Receive. Receive. Who will receive? Receive. receive. Yep. Yeah, we'll reserve. Well, Which side? Which side? So it means that the English combination get to serve and choose ends. Or well, the pair from Chinese Taipei. Well, they're both very experienced players. Yang Po Xuan has already played earlier today. Li Zhe Hui is 29 years of age from Taipei. And he had a very successful former partnership with the now Olympic champion Li Yang. In fact, they won the French Super Series in 2017 and were bronze medalists at the Asian Games in Jakarta. Young Paul Chouan will turn 27 in two days' time on Wednesday. Taller of the two, that's just over six foot one, from Tainan, which is the south of the island. It's the oldest city on the island. I'd love to go and visit there. So... 17 tournaments so far this year for the pair from Chinese Taipei. That's an awful lot. Rory Easton, he's a very tall man. 197, that's five, six foot five and a half inches from Pembrey. Near Seven Oaks in Kent. We're virtually neighbours, you know, Steve. He lives uh, just up there. I was just wondering where is Pembrey in England because yes. I had no clue. It's in Kent. It's where I live. Yeah. Yes, how lovely to see you. Now, is he a man of Kent or a Kentish man? It depends whether you're born north or south of the Medway. Yeah, I, I can't help you out on that one. <laughs> Zach Russ. Turned 23 last month. He's from Haywards Heath in West Sussex. And they have been as high as 51 on the world rankings, but 58 at the moment, so very close to their career high as a combination. 
our umpire for this one. He's Ready Henrik Boas from Denmark and Iris Metzbulu of Estonia, the service judge. Anthony Clark on the right as we look at them and Nathan Robertson. Nathan Robertson, world championship gold medalist in 2006 in the mixed doubles and Anthony Clark, silver medalist that same year with Robert, Robert Blair. Yeah, but also in the mixed, right? In the mixed. Nice lifting line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they played against each other, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, but done a kill it. That's correct. Yeah. And weren't they the first English pair to win the Super Series in men's doubles as well? Singapore Open, yeah. I believe. I think so too. Yeah. Um, first, and I suspect only. Probably. Yeah. Men's doubles yeah. pair to win a, in the Super Series era, of course. Ladies and gentlemen. On my right, Roy Easton and Zach Ross, England. And on my left, Yang Po Suan and Lee Kui, Chinese Taipei. Roy Easton to serve, to Lee Hui, love all, play. So it's the very tall man, Rory Easton, that gets this men's doubles underway. Serves over, one love. Interesting. The English One combination ball. actually played together as juniors, but because Rory Easton is in junior terms a year younger uh, than Two. Zach Russ, One. then they uh, split for a short while, reformed their partnership at the All England Championships of 2021. Two ball, ball. Service fault call too high. Yeah, I recall seeing um, Rory Easton as a junior player. Uh, there was two very talented. He was very two. talented, and he had there was a, a compatriot also, Harry Huang. I think he actually still plays men's singles uh, in Central. He was extremely talented um, in the men's singles as under 17 when I saw them. Yeah, they actually won a bronze medal, didn't they, at yeah. the European Junior Championships under 17 in Prague? in 2017. It's interesting though, Rory Easton has won European junior medals at various age groups in all three disciplines. Exactly, I recall he played all Shoulder. three disciplines there. Yeah. Four, three. Versatile player. Yeah. And I like to see that in junior days for the overall development of a player. Yeah, you, I mean... You can, you can always take something from each discipline to um, Five, that you can three. benefit from if you eventually choose one or two of the others. Yeah. Peter Gader from Denmark won the World Junior Men's Doubles the title and, of course, uh, became world number one at men's singles. He was a silver medalist at the World Championships in Seville in Six, 2001, three. wasn't he? He was, he was. He never played the mix, though, in he didn't, his junior no, years, no. but um, the men's doubles definitely together with uh, Peter Nissen from Denmark. Four, six. <laughs> oh, over. couldn't get out of the way. Seven, four. Oh. Oh. Yeah, good attack. Got me there all the time. Five, come up. Seven.
Oh, yeah, broken Six, the string to his racket. Seven. Head. Here's a fun fact for you, Steve. Seven, eight. Four previous world championships staged here in Copenhagen. This, of course, the fifth time it's been held in the Danish capital. And English men's doubles pairs have won two medals in two of the four previous occasions it's been staged in in Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. 1983 silver medal, Mike Tredgett and Martin G. And then 24 seven. years ago, in March and Robertson. Absolutely right. Simon yeah. Archer and Nathan Robertson. I think I coached um, the quarterfinal against them. Ten, oh, sorry. Seven. Is that a bit of a sore <laughs> subject? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I didn't know that, Steen. I didn't no. know to upset you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I remember that one. Yeah. Um. 11, 7, yeah. interval. Yeah, English combination struggling on their defensive play. Exactly. Four-point advantage for Li Zhehui and Yang Po Xuan. That uh, mid-game interval here in the opening back. game. And that's when they'll try and flood after it. OK, so hopefully we can pinch one off and two to the side. Yeah, and we said that they've got to the other side. Play it off down the straight. OK. And then we're lifting the move a bit more each time. Because when we get them straight on the jumps, it's hard to defend them. You know, getting it away from, but if you make a move, it's going to be flatter. Yeah. Okay, so when it's it's going to be a huge man. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. <laughs> 11 7. Play. So 11 7 to Li and Yang. 12 7. Error on the return of serve from Zach Russ. Did you manage to catch what Anthony Clark was saying? I think it was difficult to, to figure out exactly what was the meaning because, I, again, it was like these uh, code things. I, I felt that one of the things was that they could push flat and then block seven. to the side, if I got that correct. Yeah. Um, so. A fast-paced shot and then a, uh, a more slow-paced shot. And then there was something with the... When, when, when they were lifting, they were going to move them side to side, but I didn't catch whether they wanted to give them a little bit extra time, lift a little bit higher, or put some more pressure on them and, and lift a bit more flat. The risk, of course, um, 14, if, you, if you give them time, is that the uh, attack is, it could be really, really steep. If you don't give them time, you risk um, playing it into the rhythm, the jumping rhythm of the... Um, Chinese Taipei pair, which sort of uh, sees you really, really challenged in, in defense. And I think it's super important for, for this match here. I mean, there could be other considerations in terms of development, but for this match, it's the uh, it's the game around the service situation, it's the net. The English pair is much, much better in their attack compared to their defense. Yeah. Well, first challenge of this men's doubles. They're on a run of six straight points at the moment. Li Chihui and Yang Po Xuan. Will it be seven straight points? No, it won't. It not landed in. That was a good call. Well, one challenge judge. unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 8.15. Play. Oh, nice block. Yeah. 
is over. Oh, that's 16, a super drive, isn't eight. it? Yeah. Flat over the net. The Yang, Yang and Lee, we've seen uh, the Olympic champions, but, but this pair as well can play super, super fast. I watched them play um, Hilo Open last year. They played a wonderful Good. tournament, played uh, uh, Yang Puhan and um, Lu Qing Yao in the final. That was an amazing final. It was 74 minutes. 25-23 in, in the decider. Yeah, it, it was like watching two trucks heading directly at each other at the uh, freeway and no one turning off. Nine. Yeah, nobody backing down. No. That's it. Over. And that's what they should should try and do. Win the service situation, 10, put it below the 17. tape, um, Russ and, and Easton, and then rely on their attack. Um, that that that's the um, that's the way to to scoring more points in this match here. In a long-term perspective, of course, they need to develop their flat game and their and the defense. Um, but they're also still young. Excellent. Oi, oh. oi, oi. Yeah. Oi. Missed it. Missed it. it double miss out of the uh, back line and the side line. Oh, it was totally confusion earlier on <laughs> in that rally, wasn't it? Between the two English players. And that was a long way long. to me as if the English pair are just not really used to playing this pace of rallies. Exactly. They're just slightly off the pace, aren't they? Slightly yeah, off and, the act. And we saw Zach Ross uh, twice being in action at the front court there, but didn't really make a difference. You, you don't get as big chances here as you do in the uh, European tournament, so you've got to make the most of every little slight chance there is. Well, that was a magnificent smash. Wonderful. Game point 11. And a lovely way to bring up game point opportunities. It's going wide. Oh, goodness me, I thought he was going to hit that. Rory Easton. 12 20. Game. Yeah, clinical. Yeah, game, final rally, in fact, the final Yang, couple of rallies clinical Yang, by Xuan, the pair from Chinese Taipei. 12. Look at that finish. Lovely interception from Yang Po Xuan. And the opening game, to Li Zhuhui and Yang Po Xuan. Pretty comfortable. 21 12 in 12 minutes. Put it for them. Make it into awkward positions on there, don't like we? Okay. Um, I think we turn the serve. Either go soft to sides, or you dead not so nice. Or go hard. Go hard. Not not they're fluffy in between. Yeah. So they just get on that cream in, and then they follow up by moving round. That's where we're in trouble. Okay. But when we've gone hard, they go hard back. Then we can go soft to the sides. We'll automatically get the lift. Yeah. We know we can punch it a bit more this end. From there, the room it seemed like it was. Pink the that's fine then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah,
Second game, love all, play. So one game to the good, Li Zhe Hui and Yang Po Xuan of Chinese Taipei against the English combination of Rory Easton and Zach Russ. Oh. Service over. That's always spectacular, isn't it, when they yeah. go for those sort of interceptions. If it works, it's brilliant. And the slam dunk of badminton. Yeah. Oh. Good tumble serve. Very good tumble Service serve. Over. One all. Service over. Two. One. Service error from Jokwey. Yeah, I think I heard Anthony Clark start by emphasizing something about the service situation. Two different options. There was a drive serve from Rory Easton. Oh, Excellent yes. play. Service Wonderful over. play. We can see the English pair, they've got trouble uh, sort of uh, setting the front court player up here. Rory Easton capable of hitting very, very steep, but that also means that most of the lifts he'll get back is high lift. So he should actually try and bury it a little bit, play some more flat smashes to, to activate Zach Rush when he's at the net. Oh, and they've both got oi. forward again. They've not got that sorted yet. Yeah, oh. they did that in the opening game. Both the English players rushing forward to the net at the same time. Yeah. And nobody covering the back of the court. But I, I generally like the strategy of both players being able to play at the front court. And, and I've seen Rory Easton Four, uh, searching the front court more than I expected in, the, in this match here. But when he's there, Zach Ross on his hand needs to play much more steep smashes because you, you want to utilize the reach of, uh, of the tall Rory Easton. So uh, you want the lift from the uh, Chinese Taipei pair to be a little bit higher. Five, two. Heavy strapping on his left knee, Yang Po Xuan, yeah. who actually played earlier today, didn't he? He played mixed doubles with Hu Ling Fang. One in three games against Yakora and Crystal Lai from Five. Canada. That's right. And they'll play against uh, Danish mixed doubles number 11 seeds, Christiansen and Boya. So he's going to be a busy man, isn't he? He is. And there was a crazy situation in that match Six. where Yang Po Xuan. Uh, coming back to the back court where his partner Hu Ling Fang was, he knocked the racket out of her hand and she ran off to get a new racket whilst he picked up her racket. So all of a sudden they had three rackets on the same side and ended up winning the rally. <laughs> well, I've never seen anything like that before. Okay. It was spectacular. I, I'm not sure it was allowed, but, but um, well, they got the point and they ended up winning the match. I don't know if it's allowed. I still don't know. I haven't been able to figure it out. Court. That certainly helped him. Rory Easton. Three, 
Oh, good defence. Oh, oh that's a pity. There was a big gap Time's down over. that backhand side, Seven. wasn't there? Six. Oh, it wasn't wide by much. Watching, watching. <laughs> There was a little cyclist drift that could have perhaps taken it in. Not enough. Seven, good. Oh. Yeah, done well. So serves over. Yeah, couldn't capitalise that. No. Eight. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Top spin, flick serve. It looked like Rory Easton was surprised as well at the service. <laughs> A great reaction by Lee Ji Hui. Difficult to pull that sort of serve Nine. off against a player that's Eight. so quick. Now. I know that was a really good serve from Li Zhe Hui, but Anthony Clark was talking about the returns. None yep. of this fluffy stuff, he said. You either go the sharp angles or you push it deep. Yeah. Sometimes you forget. As a player, you forget what the coach said. Well, maybe the serve was just uh, too yeah. good. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and he couldn't attack it. No. But it was a fluffy return, yeah. to use Anthony Clark's language. And that's also, again, if you were with us in the last match, like we discussed there with the Brazilians, um, being here, learning experience, say, OK, this is working for us. That, that's something we can build our game plan around. This is not working. We're simply not strong enough here. We need to get better here because we don't get um, Yep, I think Zach Ross is not really making his presence felt when he's intercepting at the net. He's more like keeping the shuttle going. So he needs to make more of it. Yeah. So when he practices, then he needs to 11, do something nine, with less. Interval. Yeah. So to the mid-game interval. And Li Zhe Hui and Yang Po Xuan have a two-point advantage, having already won the first. Yeah, but um, when we've angled, that's good. It's coming up to us again. But when we get these mid ports, just roll them down again. It's almost like tempting you to smack it back again. You're just very good at it. Don't be afraid to, if nice and high, stick your block in like you did on that forearm. Really nice. And you'll get to the left again. Keep your feet. So it's our one, two, three, four, five. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Don't be afraid to lift really high. Yeah. One of the things from Anthony Nine. Clark. Yeah, and then block the next one. And yeah. if right. they block back, just lift again. Court, 12, Again, 9. Dominant service situation from especially Yang Kuswan here. And I, I love the fact that we get to hear the pair that's behind first in the coaching situation. I just think that's great because that's where we expect most things to happen. That's the second service for Keep them within touching distance. Let's go. 12. They will give us points. No, it wasn't on Zach Ross. He's serving now. Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Young push one. Serves over. 13, 10. Serves over. 11, 13. That's a great shot there. By um, Zach Ross. 
And I think you were right before with that service from Lee Jiehui. He's been serving brilliantly the last two times I've seen him. Good umpiring. There's another drive serve. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we've talked about the sideways drift, 14, but I think there's a bit of a drift, 12. and the shuttle is flying faster coming towards the pair from Chinese Taipei as we look down during the rallies. So now the shuttle is flying faster coming towards us as we are all looking down on the court. Yeah, That's pushed over. it long. 13, 14. English pair have done well here. I think so. I thought that there was uh, a chance that uh, they could be overwhelmed in this second game when they were 2 5 down. Well, they really fought well. Oh, that's, that's a great interception. 15, from Lynch, Joe Way. Yeah. Tried the right thing, but didn't have the right quality. Um, or he used to. Excellent. 14, 15. Oh. Back level. Oh. Over. Ah, that's a good return of serve, isn't it? 16, I like that. 15. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well taken. That's better. Lovely from Zach Russ. Come on. 16, oh. Over 17, 16. Some good reactions for a, a man that's almost two meters high. In there. No! Well, well, well. 's oh. gone that's gone wide <laughs> over 18 old oh. yeah. the racket's already gone there yeah off he goes eighteen and his partner oh. didn't even have to play the next shot. Serve again. 19, 18. Two points away from a place in the second round for Lee Jo Hui and Yang Po Xuan. Oh. 
challenge here. Challenges towards in. And I thought that may have been in. It looked like it had been a great injustice to two uh, Chinese Taipei players there. Yeah, they were adamant, weren't they? And they were absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. great challenge. Out. So, match point opportunities. 20, match point 18. Play. What a serve and what a return. 19, Glory Easton getting the net cord on the return of serve. Utterly brilliant. Look at that. Magnificent. What a way to save a match point. Still another opportunity, though, for the pair from Chinese Taipei. Oi. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah! <laughs> what a dive. Save of the day. From Zach Russ. <laughs> My goodness, how on earth did he get that back? Extraordinary. And 20 all. An extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. No wonder he's pleased with that. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, well, not only do we have a tumble serve, we also have a tumble defense. Come on, mate. If you want, yeah, if you want. Yeah. Confidence. Confidence, come on. Serves over. 21-20. Uh, Yang Shuan got back well for the flick serve. So a third opportunity to close out this match for the pair from Chinese Taipei. Yeah. Third time, it's been well saved. Well, well, well. You've got to love it, haven't you? Brilliant, utterly brilliant from Li Jiahui. Lovely change of pace at exactly the right moment. 22, 21. Beautiful. Fourth match point opportunity for Li and Yang. And a fourth match oh, point has been really saved. Even though he might run in, it's better when you hit it at him. Long? No. No, that's slow. Plays well in. 23-22. So fifth opportunity. If we got to 29 all, then it's sudden death. First one to 30. Close! So yeah. it's over. That's a tame point. Sixth opportunity to close out this match for Li and Yang.
this time. Yeah, they fought well with the young English combination of Easton and the Russ. But in the end, the attacking capabilities of Lee Jo Hui and Yang Po Xuan really won the day. A match won by Lee Hui and Yang Po Xuan, 21-12. 25-23. Umpire just confirming that scoreline. 34 minutes only for the entirety of that match. Very few long rallies. Confirmation of that scoreline, 21-12, 25-23, winning on their sixth match point opportunity. Coming up next, another men's doubles, and it is Rusev and Stoinov up against Yepabai and Lassa Mulheva. So welcome back to the magnificent Royal Arena here in Copenhagen. Day one of competition at the Total Energies 